For this week's podcast on English.com, we have treated ourselves to something very special. We decided to go to the Oriental Hotel for a delicious lunch. The Oriental Hotel is one of the world's most luxurious hotels, and it's over 130 years old. Yes, and not just to the Oriental, just any restaurant in the Oriental, to Le Normandy, which is one of Asia's most renowned French restaurants uh, and the top restaurant in the Oriental. Yes, top's the right word. We went to the restaurant which is at the top of the hotel and the view over the river was lovely, wasn't it? You can see right across to the Peninsula Hotel. That's right, up and down the river. There's always activity, there's always little ferries pootling across the river and up and down. So, yeah, it's a great view. So, um, it was a very posh menu, wasn't it, all written in French? And uh, there was a choice, wasn't there, of four starters and four main courses. Yes. So, what did you have then, Jackie? Mm, well, I love seafood, so I chose the king prawns, which came with apples and green olives and a wonderful lobster sauce. And I went for the pâté with pickled gherkins and um, some crunchy vegetables. And you were a little worried, weren't you, Richard? When, when the food came, the portions are quite small. I think you were a little worried that you might be hungry at the end of the yes. meal. Yes, well, it is a French restaurant, and the French... Um, Posh French meals are renowned for being quite small on the portions, but it tasted absolutely delicious. Yes, definitely. And, and the plates and things were very nice. Everything was laid out. It looked beautiful, didn't it? For the main course, um, now I had the duck. I love duck. And, well, I would call it mashed potatoes, but in fact on the menu they said crushed potatoes. And this came with a wonderful red berry sauce. Yes, and I went for the beef, um, rather a small steak there, wasn't it, with, uh, with vegetables, but again, extremely tasty. Yes, and throughout the whole meal we were sitting right by the window, so as I said, we could have this wonderful view over the river. Yes, it was quite a small restaurant, um, and it was quite nice, we were actually greeted um, at the door, they knew who we were immediately, didn't they, they said, oh, it's Mr. Kane come on in, and they were extremely polite and obviously very well trained. But also, um, they have a strict dress code, don't they? Yes, you weren't allowed to wear a short sleeve shirt, and I wasn't allowed to wear sandals, but it was fun to wear some posh frocks, and it was fun to dress up for, for the meal, wasn't it? Yes, yes, I think so. I think the best part of the meal has to be the puddings, though. <laughs> <laughs> on, on the menu, there was either one... There was either one dessert or you could choose from a selection from the trolley, couldn't you? Yes. I chose the dessert that was on the menu, which um, was actually four little puddings. And um, what looked like an egg was, in fact, the almond milk ice cream. And there was also a kind of a, a rhubarb and apricot tart with strawberry sauce but it was delicious yes i don't rhubarb is one of my favorite uh, vegetables i don't know where they got it from i've not seen rhubarb in asia at all anyway yes i decided to go for the uh, bigger option shall we say <laughs> and the dessert trolley the dessert trolley looked absolutely amazing yes they had a whole choice of cakes didn't they i mean there was this wonderful uh, blackberry cheesecake blueberry blueberry, blueberry. cheesecake and um, there was also lots of tarts they a say. white there was a white chocolate cake there was a chocolate cake there was um anyway you couldn't decide what you wanted and no, you so were very I cheeky i had a little bit of a few one of my favorite desserts is tiramisu so I had to have a little piece of tiramisu, a little piece of blueberry cheesecake, and also one of my favourites is apple pie. And it wasn't apple pie, but they had a, an apple ap charlotte, wasn't apple it? Apple charlotte, yes, which was very nice. Yes, yeah, so Richard had three slices of cake for pudding. I had lots of room for them, though, so that's my excuse. <laughs> and then, when we had the coffee, the mocha coffee, they also gave us... A little plate of pity for. Exactly, yes. We, there's, no, there's no English word. It's uh, 
the very small cakes, little selection. In fact, we couldn't even eat all those. No. <laughs> so there was one very satisfied customer anyway. Two, I think. Yes, it was wonderful. And the restaurant was just lovely. And I think we got there early, but we were the last ones to leave. Indeed we were. What a great day. It was wonderful. And it should have been very, very expensive. But we discovered before we went, the hotel was doing um, a special summer menu. And normally this meal would cost, I think, over 4,000 baht. But um, it was 1,000 baht for everything, um, which was about... It's about $30, I think, something around, around that sort of price, which is not too bad for one of the best restaurants in Asia. Fantastic. That was great, wasn't it? Excellent. Let's go again next week. Okay. Okay.